We're here at the James Beard House with my good friend Aaron Frank. Thanks for inviting us here for this auction item dinner winner. Winner. Winner dinner. <laughs> winner dinner. Dinner winner. Uh, Something like that. So there was a auction for the James Beard House to raise money, and one of the auction items was a dinner curated by yourself. Yes. And you that asked is true. us to come. Thank I did. you. Thank you for that. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Quite an honor. I mean, I thought it'd be pretty cool, really. You know, so I guess for the Beard with with COVID and stuff, they yeah. weren't really doing their normal dinners and raising money like that. So right. they did like you know their annual like fundraiser, auctioned off I think four dinners, um, and we're one of them. Perfect. So I think that's pretty flipping cool. But yeah, I was excited really that you cool. said yes. Yeah, I mean, who was gonna say no to come cooking at the James Beard House with? You Aaron never Frank? know. <laughs> uh, so what are you cooking? Pasta bolognese or something? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was gonna do some grilled tofu. Yeah, uh, we're gonna do go. some TVP, some veggie burgers. Yeah, I love um, it. You know, maybe some uh, something else vegan. Um, no, I brought briskets from uh, Austin. Perfect. Because uh, we're sort of, you know, there's a building above us. It's kind of a weird kitchen. There's no live fuel. Yeah. Uh, so I thought it would be best just to reheat some Franklin briskets. And uh, some jalapeno cheese sausage. And, um, you yeah, know, we're doing some wings together. Yeah. And just kind of some, you know, rando hybrid stuff. I also, you know, this menu, believe it or not, ended up being pretty meat heavy. Yeah. So I went to the market <laughs> this morning and I grabbed some tomatoes. And we got some greens. We bought a bunch of vegetables and stuff to try to lighten them. Lighten yeah, the, you know, I guess the mood. Lighten the mood. Lighten we the mood. we brought so we cooked some ribs earlier at Hill Country. We brought some cheeks, brought our kale Caesar slaw, and I was the pastry chef today. Made some, made some desserts. Kind of like took it all the way back, right? Because I we cooked them at Hill Country, and that's a Friedman's recipe. And then now we're here with Leroy and Lewis. Oh, yeah, that's it. Man. Circle, Full circle. Well, like uh, thanks for inviting us here, man. I Heck really yeah. appreciate hey, it. Yeah, thank you guys yeah. so much for hanging out. I think it's a really fun thing. It's kind of like one of those things for somebody that cooks or, or whatever. It's like it's a weird like little like bucket list item. Oh yeah. You know, like that's yeah. a pretty. I've been here Big once bucket before. List item. Huge. <laughs> yeah. Um, on. And I cooked here once before, and I did two nights, two back to back nights here, like I don't know, three or four years ago, yeah. and it was super duper fun. So when they called about this one, I was like, yeah, but. I don't think you want just me. I need to rope some homies out on this. <laughs> uh, so anyway, thank yeah. you guys for coming. It's really fun. I better get busy. I, I got to go prep these crackers. Yeah, so. these are going to be really good. <laughs> smoke wings, smoke ribs. It's like a half trim on these ribs already. Skirt removed. That's how they trim them here. Membrane removed. Did you teach them that? <laughs> no. <laughs> There was a lot of uh, post-cook trimming on, on the block. Like you gotta take the chine off on the block. Oh, sounds awful. Yeah, this is a, you know, it's called Hill Country Barbecue Market. So that's kind of what they do at like places like Kreitz. Like this place is modeled after Kreitz Market. So they used to do it at a uh, Hill's Cafe. They would take a fork and jam it in there and just twist this bone out. First time I met Aaron was when I was working here. He did an event here. I think he was having a discussion with Daniel Vaughn downstairs, like the stage, and people were watching it. And he was cooking his briskets on here. And I was young and dumb. And I was like, oh man, Aaron, you're gonna love these pits. You're gonna go back to Austin and buy yourself one of these bad boys. I can't even get through that sentence without laughing now because he's like the offset guy, right? I don't want anything like dripping on it, so I'm gonna park the things right at the front for like 10 minutes. Throwing these chips on, chocolate chips are making smoked chocolate mousse for Hill Country. Just make sure it tastes good. Not for Hill Country, James Beard. This kitchen's a little bit bigger than the, uh, the food court. 
foods up. Yeah, quite a bit. We got a salamander, got a pressure fryer. Nice. To chocolate. In. When was the last time you made smoked chocolate mousse? Not too long ago. It is a good one to keep in your back pocket. For times like these. We're just making a mousse, chocolate mousse. Instead of melting the chocolate with a double boiler or just using the heat of the cream, we melted it in the smoker, just for a very small amount of time. Then we boil some cream, or at least get it hot enough to incorporate the chocolate into it. Separately, I have whipped two quarts of cream. We're full of melted chocolate into the whipped cream, pour it into these cups, and that's gonna make the mousse. How's the fat business treating you? Extra sloppy for you. The real downside to uh, rotisserie is the drips that you get. We're taking off color though, probably a little too hot with the bones pulling back like that. Well, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. So they say the same thing about banana pudding. Making banana pudding for Beard House. Oh, dumb, dumb thing to do. Drop the yolk. So we're gonna separate some eggs and some yolks. Gonna blend them with the bananas. I haven't decided if I wanna smoke them or if I maybe just wanna char them. The salamanders, that might be nice. But we are going to make banana pudding, do something interesting with it. I was thinking kind of like a caramelly vibes. Got the whipped cream all whipped, the eggs separated. Right now I'm trying to pulse the bananas, some half and half, some vanilla paste, some egg yolks. I put a little 99 bananas liqueur in there. Break up some of these larger banana chunks. Never worked with these before, I hope this works. So, squeeze them out, nice and hydrated. They go into the cold liquid. These are gelatin sheets. We normally work with powdered gelatin, which you just have to, it's essentially this stuff, just powdered. And you just have to put it in here, but you have to hydrate these before they go into the cold liquid. So we're gonna take this upstairs, cook it until it's hot. Melting the gelatin and trying to cook the eggs. That's why we strain it. Chunky. Get that chunks out. What are you making, Bromsky? An emulsification. For what? For Caesar. You know, this part always scares me when doing pudding, because it's like, I have no fucking idea if it's gonna set or not. Yeah, if this doesn't work, we're just gonna go to Magnolia Bakery. <laughs> Get all this shit. These are different Nice wings. Let's play with these. So we're just throwing this rub on them. This rub has some salt, sugar, paprika, cayenne. Your pretty traditional barbecue rub. We're gonna smoke them. We're going to probably fire them off on the grill at the Beard House. Throw a little sauce on them. Chicky. I wrap these guys up. Some nice color on there. Feeling incredibly hot. Some of the old house sauce here. Why not? Went in home. Alright. Gonna pat that on all nice nice. Lift it over. Let's do a little bit on this side. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Now let these steam for another, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and then we'll uh, pull off what went. Ready for a walk? At the door. <laughs> I don't like pushing it with one hand and like walking beside. Okay. Can you all help me with going down here? 
Have you ever done this before? No. I'm so scared. Careful right here, it's gonna lean. We're trying a new tactic. How's it feel? Any better? No, dude, look at this wheel. So we gave up on the car, ended up carrying everything for about 12, 15 blocks by hand. It was awful, but we've made it to the James Beard house. Yeah, okay, that works. And then bowls for sides. And then if I have any leftover sausage, we'll just throw something on there too. I feel great, honestly. You're feeling real good. TDH. To be quite honest. Make sure you get the good footage of Aaron Franklin slicing tomatoes. I was about to say, Aaron, you've changed. Man, I, something, something funny's going on. I don't know what's gotten into me. Maybe it's an abnormally sharp knife. Are they at least beef steak tomatoes? Absolutely, from Jersey, the finest. Ones uh, that are on the path are all good to go. Uh, maybe, I'll tell you what, Ready? if you guys want to start with like, the sauce and like some of this stuff. Um. Okay. 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 So, bread. I need to make room for a brisket. How are they feeling? Yeah, they feel pretty okay. okay. They've so been in the oven for a while. We've hit one, we've hit one of this and three. This table's too high for me. I, I can't work like this. <laughs> I stay too high. <laughs> I guess they traveled okay from Texas. Oh, it works. Okay, so we oh, work. the, the little thing of service utensils in here. Box. There's some tongs, right? Oh, but yeah, there's one left. Oh, great. So, we've got sauce <laughs> and uh, tomato. Right behind you. Get it. So, so, higher quality than it could be had. Yeah. Besides. Apps went out, wings looked great, all the barbecue looked really good despite heating up the cheeks in the oven and forgetting about them. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> the ribs were great. Brisket looked fantastic. Classic blue platter. How was the whiskey? Just the whiskey. Whiskey was delicious. PK on point. Everything, I mean, pretty easy. Went pretty well. All the guests seemed very happy. I think that's what's most important. Yeah, I mean, other than that mild commute, Right, yeah, I, it's already out of my mind. I've forgotten like about ready. it. So we're going to start the clearing. The GTFO? Yeah, so okay. we're going to start. Do desserts? Yeah, so Let's we're going to start it. clearing them cool. up. So this is a mixture of the leftover custard from the banana pudding, plus a little dulce de leche and melted butterscotch chips. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Good one. Smoked chocolate mousse. Is it good? Just like we used to make at Freeman's, except it has more interesting toppings. Crumbled chocolate, chocolate chip cookies. They may or may not be tates. <laughs> Black sesame seeds and smoked Malden. Wait, what's the chocolate? Where's the chocolate from? 
I think you said just taste taste chocolate. Tate's cookies. Oh, I think you said taint. Taint. Yeah, dude. They may or may not be from the taint. <laughs> you know, some of the peeps at the beer house were like, hey, do you want to do a little dinner? I know it's really hard. You can't cook any, like, wood-fired stuff here. You can't really cook brisket. But it's a small crowd. It's 25 people. It's like, oh, yeah, that sounds like fun. I was like, well, I don't really want to do it by myself. I'd like to invite some friends to come cook with me. Um, and nice. I could really only come with... But none of those were available, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so but anyway, so, like, the one barbecue cook that I really actually, like, I don't eat barbecue. I'm just saying that. I really don't eat much. I'll have to cook it, but, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. you know, I gotta watch my girl's figure here. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, it was like, oh my god, I'm gonna ask Evan to come hang out. So, because if I was actually gonna go eat barbecue in Austin, I would go to his trailer. Oh. Uh, oh. So anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we'll say this. I'm worried for you. Um, <laughs> I don't want you to get gout, so I'm going to eat kale tomorrow. Okay? Go get a smoothie, get some athletic greens, go get a salad, get some roughage, and I can make it happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All you gotta know is right here. The James Beard Foundation, the capital, the home base, the center of American culinary innovation and appreciation. This is a bucket list for any chef, and the weight of it is now lost on us. This was truly incredible. Cannot thank James Beard Foundation enough. Cannot thank Aaron Franklin enough for bringing us here. This was an incredible experience. The food was great. It was super easy, the people were great. It was just a very good event in the best possible situation you could ever imagine. It's in New York City. What else are you gonna say? It's Aaron Franklin cooking at the James Beard House in New York City, and we were lucky enough just to be a part of it.